Hi everyone, in this video I am going to share secrets which every chubby slash curvy girl should know about dressing. I am Shweta Chukladar, style coach, fashion designer and founder of a slow fashion line called Spanx by Shweta Chukladar. I help people dress according to their lifestyle and help them dress with expression and individuality. I was searching for this topic on what to, to talk about and I came up with two top, top two things. One is how to dress when you are chubby and one is how to look slim when you are chubby. So, so that is, it's really vague and fast and you don't have to look thin or you don't have to look slim. You, you just need to dress according to your body shape so you, uh, you can flaunt your beauty properly. Dressing with proper silhouettes and avoiding some basic style mistakes are very important to look good. So the first tip I have for you is very basic and everyone should know this in uh, regardless of what shape or size you are that is wearing proper lingerie. So when it comes to bra sizes and cup sizes one has to be really really um, precise and accurate with those sizes. So sometimes we don't know that we, ha we are wearing a size smaller or we are wearing a size bigger but that really makes a very big difference. So there, uh, sometimes if you wear a smaller size, there are bulges when you wear something a size bigger, it doesn't give the proper support and it looks equally inappropriate. So the first thing is to always get your lingerie fit done. And then when it comes to underwear, I really suggest wearing mid-rise or high-rise ones. So they are not uh, bulges and they, ha they give you full coverage at the back and there are no bulges and uh, I would suggest to go for the seamless ones don't go for panties which are which have elastic or the elastics are too elastic is too tight so go for the ones which are seamless or they have uh, those very very easy easy to the body elastic there are brands which are coming up with those ones and they are really good and it's very important to you know, invest in a good lingerie brand because there are brands coming up with a lot of technical uh, things because lingerie is a very technical thing so there are brands coming up with a lot lot of technical things which um which are very comfort which are very comfortable for your body and it, it doesn't you know grip your body or your skin in a certain way but also it gives you the provides you with the right support and the right fit so uh, so yeah investing in a good uh, lingerie brand is a very important thing second thing i have is a high-rise chain high-rise chains are your friends I would say mid-rise is also good but high-rise ones are really uh, but I personally have a thing for the high-rise jeans because they make your legs look longer and they uh, they give you full coverage on your waist. High-rise jeans are high-rise jeans are those which have uh, which sit just above your navel or on your navel line and they don't slip uh, when you sit down. So sometimes when we you know when uh, sometimes when you wear low rise jeans and you can sit down or you can bend down because if you're wearing a uh, because they just keep slipping off and that is really unattractive and that is really inappropriate and unattractive and that is really not the way to wear that is a malfunction one i have for you is when you buy your trousers or your jeans always choose the ones which are ankle length because having bunches around your ankle is an illusion of even more broader weight so in that case you have to, you need to uh, balancing balance it out by uh, by giving your body a height so that you can do with ankle length jeans and trousers point i have for you is not to wear a pleated skirt or even a gathered one if you're wearing a gathered uh, skirt or a pleated skirt, then I'd always suggest an empire line. And if you're wearing a skirt on your waistline, then I would say absolutely no to pleated or a gathered skirt. Rather, you, I think you should look for circle skirts, A-lines or fit and flare ones because they, because again, they look good on your body. They are the ones which fall perfectly on your body and fit will always be better in those just like the first one this is also very important and that is dress according to your size loose t-shirts look cool enough but when it comes to shirts or blouses or tops or anything else then uh, the then please 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 ensure that the that the same of your shoulders fall perfectly on your shoulder if they fall if they fall off the shoulder or if they are like 
if they are if they fall before the shoulder then that is a size too small for you and if it falls uh, below your shoulder then that is a size too large for you so you might want to uh, you know wear something loose uh, which gives a loose fit so in that case you can uh, opt for shapes which are a-line or which have a little bit of flare at the bottom but always please ensure that your waist and your shoulder um, size is meant please ensure the fit is loose not the size is loose because a loose fit is different and a loose size is different a loose size is when you're wearing two sizes or one size bigger but a loose fit is something which is according to your fit but then the structure the silhouette is made in such a way that it is loose to your body so it has a flowy effect like the circle ones like the circle dresses the flowy the a-line dresses etc point i have for you is a pep talk i have so many friends and even even i at one point of my life i waited uh, for my waited that i lose some weight so i can dress better style is being the best version of what you are what you have now embrace it accept your body accept your curves you have curves flaunt them and accept your and embrace your body whatever flaws you think you have accept them they are not flaws they just make you they just make you and think about this if everyone had to follow the certain rule book of beauty then everyone would end up looking similar we all look different because we have different features on our face we have different body shapes body sizes body types but imagine if all of them were had to fit a rule book and we won't be so diverse anymore we all would have be having the same eyes the same nose the same lips because they are all defined and who actually defined them this definition is blurring these days so embrace it and there are so many um there's so many brands there's so many designers who are embracing sizes which are not according to the not the small size best of the designers of the world the fashion shows which are worldwide and the worldwide fashion shows which are very famous and internationally known even they are accepting women with curves and you know a bit of more flesh so they are bringing inclusion to fashion that bringing inclusion to beauty and i think it's time we should do so don't stick to a, being a certain a typical stereotypical uh, definition of beauty because you are beautiful you are already beautiful you don't have to wait to be something else that's all for today and if you liked my video please uh, hit a th thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, want to keep a tab on what i am posting next you can also go and check out my blog that is www.livewhatyouwear.blog remember it's not .com it's .blog and please comment below and tell me your insecurities if you're chubby tell me if you have any insecurities or how you have grown up uh, you have grown out of it and how uh, you love your body and which was your biggest takeaway from this video